Hello, this is GeoTechLand and today I'll be showing you my Linux video editing workflow. So for Linux, the, one of the more popular video editing softwares is Kaden Live. And I've briefly used other ones and I just found this one to be very simple or much simpler than the rest. So the very first thing you'd want to do obviously is add videos or add clips and there's multiple ways to do this. You can just go open, open recent, or in this case, just right click, add clip. And I'm already in my, I named this vid scales folder. This is just a folder I have where I keep videos or clips that I use frequently in my videos, like my intros, outros, and some music. And I'm just gonna go ahead and add all of these here actually just click OK. Normally what you can do is too is open up your file manager and then just drag and drop the clips there whichever way works better for you. Right now I'm gonna delete this clip though because those are my longer intros and outros and I've simplified things a bit. So let me go ahead and add this here this is where we're gonna be actually adding the clips And then here, if you, right now we're by default in the selection tool. And let's say you wanted to just shorten this clip. You would just click on the edge and you can drag it to the side here. That's, this first part covers just, um, you know, manipulating the files um, themselves. This is obviously where you can easily play your movie in a sense. And obviously if there's no clip, there will just show a blank screen until it gets to this part. But all right, now let's say you actually wanted to cut this. Maybe you wanted to cut this in half. Normally what I do is I'll just click here, hit play, and then kind of get an idea of where I want to cut. Let's say I want to cut right here. What I would do is sometimes I'll just play and just to be sure, just cut at the right moment. And so to cut, you click on the clip, left click it, and then you right click it. And you can easily cut clip. Now you've cut it in half. And then you can drag or even extend the clip again here. Now there's another way that you can cut it that I don't really use too much. It's this razor tool where you can just snip it everywhere you want. Um, I usually prefer playing the video just so I know exactly where I want to cut. But I can totally see this being useful in some scenarios. But alright, now moving on to the effects here. I think they're equally important. So let me actually control Z. That way we have our clips here again. All right, to add an effect, what I usually like to do a lot of times is do fade ins and fade outs. So fade, um, this we could do a fade in. So I actually have to click on the clip I wanna add the effect to. And let's say I wanted to do a fade in. So what's gonna happen is when the video plays, top's gonna fade in, fade from black. Here a fade out. You can see how that looks. And actually extend that. Oh actually and one thing to keep in mind this was actually a sound a fade that actually only affects the sound so I actually used the wrong effect which it's pretty common to get confused here, but all right, it's the fade to black that will actually fade this, as you can see. A lot of the times I've used them as transitions, like going from one clip to another. And one other useful one that I use is audio correction. So let's say my recording, maybe my voice was very low during the whole time. 
I can go to its audio correction. So volume. So let's say this clip is just too loud. Just click on the clip, double click on volume, and just drag this down. The lower the, the lower the volume it gets. But obviously if my recording is too low, then I can use this to increase the volume. So those are another common tool I use there. Now, recently I got into transitions and I struggled a lot because a lot of these transitions are weird and don't work well. And there's a specific way you have to use them. Like you have to organize your, your clips in a very certain way. So you can't, normally you'd think, okay, you can just um, drag this here and it'll implement a transition for you. But that's not the case. You have to put it so that they overlap here. See how they kind of overlap some part of the video there. And then even again, the clip is not set up right. This has to be set up so that this the second clip here is on top so there you go i usually like using this one and if this transition is just a little too slow you can shorten it here to go faster but let's say it's not too slow, let's say it's, you want it longer. Actually move it more. But yes, I think that pretty much covers the most basic stuff there. A few tips to keep in mind is don't go crazy on the control Z because if you do, it ends up closing the program. I've been in situations where um, I'm recording or I'm editing a clip and, you know, halfway in, I, I just make a mistake and I right click and then I just hold it too long and it just ends up closing the program. Something that probably shouldn't happen, but just so just remember to always save your file, especially if it's a big project. Other than that, I think that covers the most basics one, the most basic stuff here. I was going to do a bigger video where like a bunch of episodes of this, but I felt like I wanted to do just like a, a quick and dirty um, insight into my workflow and just to see what it's like to edit videos on Linux using Caden Live. So if you enjoyed the video, please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.